Hi everybody, my name is Hao Angie and I am from SMK Danom. I wish all of you have a good day and today I will be reviewing a book entitled A Midsummer Night Dream by William Shakespeare who writes many plays such as Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, Hamlet and many more. I read this book because it is really fantastic and very popular. It can simply be found at any bookstore or library. Besides, this book has different pictures and drawings that have given extra elements to it. These are really helpful to enhance my understanding of the story. It consists of a total of 106 pages. Unlike many of Shakespeare's works, this one does not have a sad and tragic ending, and it's drama more than anything. A Midsummer Night's Dream really is a play of imagination. It is set in a midsummer forest full of magical creatures. The story is mainly about four lovers, Hermia, Helena, Lysander, and the mistress. There is a wall of triangle where Hermia loves Lysander, but is forced to marry the mistress who Helena loves. So the main conflict is introduced when the lovers' troubles take center stage. The question of who the characters should love versus who they do love drives the plot from this point on. Readers may know that Helena and the mistress belong together, as do Hermia and Lysander. But the characters' inability to pair with their appropriate partner and fairies' interference complicate the conflict, and things had changed so drastically. At the same time, the actors, Bottom, Snow, Starry, and Queens, are preparing to be held the great occasion, the marriage of Duke and Duchess. However, the place turns out to be hilarious as the actors are doing everything they shouldn't. This absolutely makes the onlookers double up with laughter. So, do you want to know about its ending? Go read this book and you will find it. Among the various characters, I like Hermia the most. She's such a pretty girl and I got to admit that. I have a little crush on her. She's an independent and daring girl. She knows her own mind and defies her father. She stands up for herself when her father wants her to marry the mistress whom she's not a bit interested in. So she decided to go against her father's wishes and run away with Lysander to the woods even though the possible consequence is death or life as an art. Actually, Hermia X really surprised me and I just found that love is just about bravery. Set in a magical mythical forest, a midsummer night's dream, undoubtedly is full of unforgettable lines that have been remembered for centuries. My favorite quote among them is love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is being Cupid, paint and blind, from Helena. Helena utters this line as she considers what it means to be in love. Seeing others mutually fall for people, Helena knows that love is just a confusing emotion and more than a physical attraction. Actually, this line is trying to remind us that if you love someone, it should not be because of their appearance, but because of their personality. So you should use your mind and your heart to find for your loved one instead of using your eyes. Just because someone looks good on the outside does not mean that they act good on the inside too. The main theme of this story is L-O-V-E. Love. Shakespeare explores the lighter side of love in this play. Love can make us behave in such a strange way just as the lovers in the story fight in the most uncivilized way in the woods. Love also can be cruel where Helena and the mistress fall desperately in love for someone who doesn't love them back. 
love. Also have a powerful magical quality that falling in love is just like being under a spell. All in all, a Midsummer Night's Dream is a must read for Shakespeare lovers and teenagers who are discovering all about love and human relationships. This is because it applies to teenagers quite a bit and have a lot of lessons that people should know. Other than that, it is also a funny play too though. Nevertheless, I would not recommend it to you if you do not like to read old English. So far, I give 4 out of 5 stars for this book. You guys should definitely go buy it and read it. I think that's all for my review on A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. I hope you guys enjoy. Happy reading and I wish all of you will find the truth of love. Goodbye for now and thank you.